All right. So this video is going to cover the rational exponent intro. So what are rational exponents? Rational exponents are fractions. So what we're going to do is talk about what that means. So if you have a fraction for an exponent, the numerator is actually the exponent of the variable, and the denominator is actually the index of a radical that you are taking. So if we were to take 4 raised to the 1 half power, that's technically the square root of 4 to the first power. If we were going to take x to the 2 thirds power, that's technically x squared, and we're going to take the cube root of x squared. So remember, the top number, known as your numerator, that is your exponent. And the denominator is the index of your radical. So you're going to need to be able to work both ways, okay? So here's a few to practice. I just want you to write it in the other form. So we have x to the 4 fifths, 3 to the 1 third, and 2x to the 2 thirds. I would like you to pause the video and write all three of those in radical form. And then, if you would like to just continue while you have the video paused, I would like you to write these three in exponent form. Okay? So just pause the video, give it a try, and let's see how you do. So x to the 4 fifth you should have as the fifth root of x to the 4th power. 3 to the 1 third would be the cubed root of 3 to the 1st power. No, you don't have to write the 1, that's optional. And 2x to the 3, or 2 thirds would be 2 cube root of x squared. I know what you're thinking, why isn't the 2 inside? There's no parentheses here. So if there's no parentheses, the 2 and x to the 2 thirds are separate. So the 2 thirds is only being applied to the x. Now, if we had that as 2x raised to the 2 thirds power, then the 2 would be inside the radical with a squared. So it would actually be 4x squared, cube root of all that. Okay, so you have to be careful with old school notation. Exponent form. Remember, this is the numerator, that's the denominator. So you should have y to the two-fifths. This would be the square root. Remember, if there's no index, it's always been a 2. You can write a 2 if it makes you feel comfortable, but it's always been a square root if there was nothing written in there. So this would be 5 to the 1 half power. And here's an example of what we were talking about, the 2's inside. So this guy right here is going to turn into 2x cubed raised to the 1 fourth power. And then, if you wanted to take that a little bit farther, you can call that 2 to the 1 fourth and x to the 3 fourths. Okay? So that's it for this introduction to what rational exponents are. Okay? Those two videos go hand in hand. Um, but it's kind of tough to work with radicals uh, in this entire unit if, uh, if you really don't know what you're doing. As far as what rational exponents are, that's what they are. So the next couple of videos you watch, they're going to be applying everything you know about radicals, rational exponents, and exponents rules together. So stay tuned for that. This is Longo and I'm out. See you, bye.